Well, we believe that sometimes things just need to be done. The cause that we're fighting for is much greater than the profit that we may get in return. We believe that much in trying to make an impact on today's young men. My name is Gerard Rose. I am co-founder and director of the Board of Directors. Michael Holloman, I'm a founder and director of the Board of Directors. My name is Jabari Price. I'm a co-founder and director of the Board of Directors. We came up with the name the Board of Directors from actually a friend of ours named Curtis Bush. We went to this program at a church called the Meeting Place Church International on Percival Road, where they used to hold power lunch every Wednesdays around 12 noon. And afterwards, we'd be sitting at the table having our lunch and discussing things and whatnot. And he actually came by one day and said that we looked like a board of directors. It was when we sat down and decided that we were going to do something to um, impact the community positively. Remember the name, the board of directors. We liked it. The mission of the board of directors is to explain and to teach to young men that being a man is not about your material possessions. We emphasize focus on character values and also showing them that being a man is not necessarily your age, but how you handle your responsibilities. Uh, being a man is not really about uh, material things, because material things will fade. It, it's who you are as a person that eventually will get you the material things, or uh, will eventually get you money, because those things are a byproduct of who you are. I mean, me, Mike, and Gerard, we come from three entirely different backgrounds. You know, me, I had, I grew up in a single uh, parent household where the dad was there. Gerard grew up in a household where both mom and dad were there. Mike grew up in a household where it was just his mom. So I think that both of our, all of us can come from different perspectives on what manhood is. And we understand that kids nowadays have a lot of challenges to go through because we understand that there's a vacuum, there's a need for men, and we really want to fill that vacuum. And I think it comes across when we show up at the mentoring ships and we speak at our keynote speakers at different events. My name is Dawn Mills Campbell. I am a publisher. I have had many opportunities to see the board of directors in action and they are amazing. They present their message with power, with authority, with passion, and they are just absolutely amazing when they stand before an audience. They command attention. As a mother of three sons, a grandmother of, of two uh, young men, and then working with young people myself, I understand that this message is, is, is most needed. My name is Roger Fowler. Um, I'm currently a student at Winthrop University. When I was a student at Midlands Technical College, um, my boss, Justin Thompson, he actually gave him the book and told me to read it and give him some feedback about it and for a conference we was having coming up. And I read the book and I was, I was like, we gotta get these guys to come. I felt like they, had, they went through the same obstacles that I did growing up. They know how it is to be a male from a struggling environment, but still be successful. Cause I know a lot of times, you know, we're so used to older people telling us, oh, do this and do that. And we're out, I feel like they're out of touch with who we are. My name is Justin Thompson and I'm a career specialist at Midlands Technical College. I heard about the Board of Directors um, through a colleague of mine, actually, that had purchased a couple of books and passed their book along to, to me on my desk. And so I, I took a look at it and I, I read it and I was amazed. It was relatable. Um, I could relate to it. I actually invite, invite them to come to speak and they was willing to speak for free. <laughs> I mean, in that sense, I mean, it wasn't about money. It wasn't about um, let me, you know, how much money I can make is about, I want to help, I want to give. And to me, that was real. We do speaking engagements where we come out and uh, you give us a topic or we'll give you a topic on what we're going to cover. And we also do uh, mentorship programs where we sit down with the young men and give them educational, and give them education on what it takes to be a man step by step. Um, we also do uh, seminars um, where we'll sit down for an hour or two and we'll just go through those principles. So whenever we have a speaking engagement, we uh, like to cover what we call the six weeks. Planning, providing, and growing, leader, visionary, and servant. And those are important because we feel like if you can conquer those things, even if you become a father or become a husband, they still apply in the same way. You know, we don't talk specifically about fatherhood because we believe that if you have these six ways and you practice them every day, you will eventually become a good father. You have no choice. Those are the things we want people to take away. We don't want anyone to think that just because we're sitting here now in shirts and ties and suits and we, that we haven't had experiences like they've gone through before. We've gone through those same things. We're not here just to say that we're the only way, but we're an alternative to let people know that if they're only seeing one thing, well, here's another option. Now you have a choice. What's most important about the Board of Directors and their book is that they are not selfish. 
they are reaching out to help other young men. The board of directors is a great um, group of guys um, with a great message, and the more um, we can get out there, the more it can help everybody. Um, not just black, it's not a black thing, it's not a white thing, it's a, it's a human thing. They're passionate about what they do, and that's the one thing I can say. They really care, and they're making a difference in our community.